Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Canoe, ticker symbol G-O-E-V. And so I wanted to do a follow-up on the chart after the last video, which came out on January 8th, when there was this little bit of a run-up breaking out of this wedge, uh, but it actually ended up being a fake out. And so I wanted to go over some updated lines and basically where I see the price going in the next few weeks, possibly, you know, within this week. And so I am recording this on Sunday, January 21st, and the uh, ticker closed at a price of 16 cents, 16.49 cents on Friday, January 19th, going up slightly in the after hours, right around 16.52 cents. And yeah, so basically what I've done here is I kind of extended the wedge that I had drawn before uh, to make it bigger picture longer term. And so the top of the wedge here is based on uh, these two pivot points you can see highlighted in uh, blue circles. And so uh, one is based on, let's see, the high of July 19th, 2023. And the other pivot point is based on the high of December 29th, uh, right before there was a little bit of a sell-off. And then the uh, bottom of the wedge is based on these two touch points that you can see highlighted there. Uh, one of them being the low of June 27th, 2023. And then also, uh, let's see the low of November 9th before there was this run up. So that's how I got that wedge. And I do think that will provide you know some guidance as far as the price moving forward. Uh, one thing, I will probably remove this, uh, but just the volume profile here does look like a lot of trading uh, was going on right around 25 cents where I have this orange line. And you know why, the reason why I redrew this wedge is because price broke down the level that I had drawn in here before, which was right around 20 cents where this red line is. So now price is trading well below that. Where do I see it going? So I'm just gonna zoom in on the chart so we can look at that a little better. And actually, I think I will leave the volume profile there. It's not really in the way too much. Um, and so, yeah, uh, basically what I see, we did see this fake out on the 8th. Price did return there uh, back into the wedge, but leaving a gap behind. So that gap is going to a price of 24.4 cents, this blue line here. Uh, actually, I might remove the volume profile just so you can see the lines a little better. Yeah, so that blue line there at 24.4 cents. Uh, so that is a potential target uh, for the price to get up to and fill. However, I do see continuation to the downside to retest the bottom of the wedge. Uh, but, you know, where do I see that going? It is kind of in the middle of the wedge right now. And so I view uh, 12 cents as being a reasonable uh, bottom target. And so that is really based on a Fibonacci retracement that I did from the low of November 9th up to the high of November 20th. So this little uh, diagonal line that you can see here. And I just have uh, the 1618 Fibonacci level or extension from that retracement. Uh, and that is at a price of 11.94 cents, right around 12 cents. And so, you know, you can see where that intersects uh, with the bottom of the wedge, that would be on January 23rd. So that would be Tuesday of this coming week. Uh, but, you know, there might be a little bit of a delay, but I do expect to be seeing a sell-off, uh, the sell-off continue into next week. And I should note that I had recently done a video on, I believe, uh, let's see, uh, Polestar, uh, with a Fibonacci retracement like this, uh, and it actually never hit that target. So it's quite possible that 13 cents might be the low, something like that, uh, before we start to see some green candles in a retest of the top of this wedge. And so when it does get there, I do think it will have a little bit of a hard time uh, getting up to, let's see, uh, 23 cents or so, where we start to see the volume uh, trading up, up here, where there's consolidation up here, really with the uh, lows around this level, 22 cents. But I do think that 20 cents will be kind of a psychological level. So that will be uh, key to break above. Uh, but yeah, I do, do find that uh, 25 cents, the orange line, to be kind of a compelling level, just thinking about uh, you know a quarter of a dollar. 
and then also uh, 28 cents. I think that's gonna be a really key level to break above because then we see the uh, volume traded uh, start to die down, and so that could serve as support when continuing higher, like breaking above 30.8 cents where this green line is. Uh, and before I close the video, I do also want to point out that the RSI is currently at 30.08, so almost in the oversold territory. And uh, you know, like it did dip below that uh, back here in October, going down to around 22 uh, for the RSI, I do expect the RSI to continue lower, hopefully not going lower than 22, uh, because then that would create bullish divergence, uh, which I had pointed out here uh, before you saw this run up. So hopefully the RSI doesn't dip below 22. If it does, you know, I think that's just going to coincide with testing the bottom of this wedge, uh, but I do foresee a retest of the top of it in the next couple weeks and potentially a breakout to 25 cents. So there's a lot to look forward to with the stock, but definitely brace for 12 cents because I do see price going to right around that level based on this Fibonacci retracement. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.